my view plays a role in many different types of production. In this episode, we'll be going through how LiveView integrates with physical productions, as well as integration with cloud-based production software. But before we start, we've put together two helpful guides available for you to download. They take a look at remote switching solutions and how LiveView's technology can be integrated into your production workflow via hardware or software switchers. Both of these guides are linked in the description below, and they're absolutely free. But Let's start with cloud production, as that is the direction a lot of people are curious about. Let's start by talking about LiveView Cloud Connect. Simply put, Cloud Connect brings the LRT decode software or LU2000 software into the cloud. Cloud Connect seamlessly interconnects high quality, low latency live video feeds from LiveView field units into your cloud workflow with the Cloud Connect software either hosted by LiveView or hosted by you, the customer, in your own virtual private cloud. Why would we offer this? As you've seen talked about in many trade shows, remember those? I mean, trade events, and especially in these COVID times, cloud-based platforms such as Grabio, Grass Valley Amp, Blackbird, Simply Live, Easy Live, VizRT's Vector Plus, have all been offering a wide range of cloud production services. Cloud Connect allows you to virtually integrate into these platforms without having to be physically tied to hardware-based equipment. This workflow is a different kind of at-home production, one in which your talent, both in front and behind the camera, can work entirely in different locations, some truly at home. With Cloud Connect in your own private cloud, you can orchestrate live productions leveraging protocols such as NDI, RTMP, and SRT with multi-stream decoding performed entirely in the cloud. Protocols such as SRT and RTMP also let LiveU take on part of the hosting, and we can send a resilient stream onto the workflow, potentially hosted elsewhere. With control over the protocol and option to host the software where you need, Hybrid cloud workflows are possible with components deployed in the end user's cloud, live use cloud, or a third party vendor's cloud, or even on premises. You can mix and match to accomplish the workflow that you require. While tons of live productions are beginning to be produced in the cloud, there's still a majority out there that focus their events on physical production. So let's take a look at the typical application where live use being used in the physical production space. In a production environment, you're typically using some video mixing equipment or software in order to ingest the different video streams and mix your programming. In an at-home production setup, nothing is really different except that instead of cabling cameras to an I.O. panel on your switcher or in your truck or setting up some complicated RF system, you're transmitting the live view encoded video signals to an LU2000 or LU4000 physical receiver in your centralized control room. From there, you route them into your switcher like you normally would. As we mentioned in our first episode, the LiveView receive servers can output SDI, NDI, or SMPTE 2110 into your control room with an LU4000 or LU2000 physical server. We also recommend, especially when producing remotely, leveraging our other production resources, such as Video Return, Audio Connect, IP Pipe, and Tally Light. We'll dive into each of those in a later episode. Thank you so much for watching. Like we mentioned in the beginning of this video, there are two helpful guides linked in the description if you'd like to take a deeper dive and learn more about some of the things we may have not touched upon in this video. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. In the next episode, we'll be diving into some of the best practices and how to set up your live view system for success. We'll see you there.